Hello, Matis back again, and this time I'm back with old stuff. I'm back with my old wooden sled, transport sled, and I'm back with my old traditional uh, handmade snowshoes. Uh, I will also camp under with no tents and with open fire. But uh, welcome back to basic. Ciao, let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For a living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. This is a lovely evening. Very good trail and just a lovely evening evening. Now I'm out here searching for a good camp. I want uh, a place with not so much snow and uh, close to my trail here. It's a little bit windy, but not so bad, and uh, the wind will go down during the evening. So, I'll find a good spot in here. Uh, yeah, that's my camp. I think I will stay there. My dog team is waiting over there while I'm walking around here, searching and playing with the camera. It's, uh, I'm very proud of my dogs, very proud. I have lovely sled dogs. Now I have eight dogs with me. It is um, Sofia and it's Dafu in the front. Sofia is a small red one and Dafu is the black one. He's usually follow me. And then further back we have Ira. Ira is a nine-year-old female. And with Ira we have Dafina. Dafina is a <laughs> happy girl that don't like everybody. Behind them we have Elof. Elof is like a nuclear station with, um, with fur. Fur and nuclear station. He worked very, very good. And he's together with Krille. And Krille is a little bit more... Uh, he worked good, but he's a little bit more restrictive with people in the beginning. And then, closest to the sled, <laughs> we have Gus and the crazy Gandalf. Actually, Gandalf is quite tired now, and uh, uh, it's not good with Gandalf. He have been shitting some kind of yellow shit, yellow diarrhea. <coughs> so he's not okay. But it's springtime and they find a lot of things to eat both in the dog yard and out on the trail. So probably have could have eaten something or so. <sighs> and of course I have Ani with me. And Ani is the Hey Ani! Hello Ani! He did it! She's working now. Or she actually believes she's working now. She. Hey Ani! <laughs> she. Uh, she will relax more when. When I hook up the dog team. Then she will standing and stepping and waiting for. For the sleeping bag. I really hate it because this is not nice. When oh, when you um, pack this sled, uh, this chain, you should always be careful, and I am. But now when I packed it up, I was not really careful. 
So it tangled up. Huh. It was not so bad. Sofia, Sofia. Sofia. Fina, mira. Fina, mira. Fina, mira. No. Ah, come go. Ira, 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 Tafina. It is um, really lovely with these older dogs that have been out uh, several seasons with you. It, you don't really need to say so much to them. They. Grille. They don't messing with ropes and it's easy to take off the harness and they don't <laughs> really take off. They actually want to be with you. It's uh, different with the young ones. These two guys, Gus and Gandalf. I don't let two guys I don't let running free here. They will probably end up somewhere else. You see Krille and Elof is going to their places and we don't know where they're going to be but they know the routines from all the seasons we have done together so it's really easy going Krille this is Krille and their Elof now the sun is setting down behind the horizon it is we are in the forest area, uh, west of the Jokmok. Almost 30 kilometer west of Jokmok. <laughs> Throw this there, and the food is there.
now we have the fire and now we have the dogs are ready and I need some water The food we use is um, prima. It's 70% uh, beef meat and 30% chicken chicken fat. To that we add the uh, Royal Canin, 4,800. Royal Canin Professional, 4,800 energy. That's dry pellets, uh, and they can actually uh, absorb a lot of the stuff in it. And when you mix meat and dry pellets, you get the kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, turbo effect? I don't <laughs> anyway, when you mix this, you get out more of the dry pellets, and you get out more of the meat. That's uh, what I think. And it's not even. It's not good to feed only meat or only pellets. That's my opinion. A lot of mushers. A lot of different opinions. I um, like outdoor cooking very much. It's so nice. When I left home, I hadn't really planned what to eat or anything. I just threw some stuff into the sled, some basic stuff like onions and now it's so warm so I also added four eggs and one kind of Italian sausage, chili sausage. Should have brought mushroom too. 
battery is always important. Wow. I'm so hungry. Mm. So today I took my old sled and I also skip out the tent and everything like that. No gas stove, no gasoline stove, nothing, just fire. Back to basic. And I like my aluminium sled, it's very easy to drive. But I also like the feeling of driving this mm, classic wooden sled. And uh, this sled, actually this sled I have here, I bought it uh, used by I think her name was Christine in Arjeplog. They had dogs. I bought this sled 15 years ago maybe. And uh, I break the skis quite quickly. Already the first season. And then I talk with uh, uh, Bo Östergren in Jokmok who make really really good wooden skis. And uh, he built me uh, a pair of new runners for for this sled, for this sled, and that was really really good. So this sled goes like it's fantastic to drive actually. The storage, the basket is two meter and thirty centimeter, uh, and uh, it's quite wide and uh, it fit a lot of gear into it. The the bag on it, the cover, the is only two meter long, so I should have a bigger one. But can't have everything. So tonight I have um, made my bed in the sled, and I put out some isomats in the bottom of the sled. And some gear are uh, packed in bags, so I can have it outside the sled. And um, some small stuff, I have stuffed it up under my neck. So it will be like a pillow. And I'm not a big guy, so I will fit into this sled easily. And I know that when I jump into the sled, to my sleeping bag, there, uh, my small body called Yanni will jump straight after. She would also like to do that. Good morning. Uh, I'm not alone here. I said yesterday that this sleeping bag uh, this sled is good for one person but it is good for one person but now I also have Annie with me here inside hey Annie hey and I think she take more than I think she take more than half of the half of the sleeping bag nay half of the sled
Duffy. Hey! Come on.